And Miss Lemmy. And Miss Lemmy's first breed is the Afghan hound. The Afghan has been recognizable since approximately 4,000 right BC. Place. Over the centuries, the breed traveled across Arabia and Persia and did settle in northern Afghanistan, hence his name today. They appeared in America after World War I, have been popular ever since. All right. So you're going to go to that marking on the floor and back to me, please. This is Afghan Hound. Right, great, thank you. All the way around, please. The Saluki. The Saluki is another ancient sighthound known from Asia proper. It very well may trace back 7,000 years ago. He was used as a coursing hound in pursuit of gazelle. The Saluki is extremely intelligent and talks is one of the fastest of all Good. the Good, how about you? Can I see the bike, please? Thanks. All right, we're gonna see her go to that mark on the ground. Oh, back to me, please. Thank you. All the way around, please. The Slugi. Originally from North Africa, the Slugi is noble and very Good, reserved in nature. I think I've they seen you before. Can I see the pipe, as please? big as gazelle, and they're extremely fast and agile. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we're going to go to the mark on the ground there. Back to me, please. This is Slugi. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. All the way around, please. The Ibethan Hound. The Ibethan Hound traces back to ancient at least 3,600 3, years ago. This is a very athletic breed. They reportedly can Hello jump again. as high as six feet up see the bite, please. from a standing position. All right, we're going to see her down to that mark on the floor and back to me, please. I beat the now. Thank you. All the way around, please. The Pharaoh Hound. The Pharaoh Hound is definitely one of the oldest of all the breeds dating back to Egypt 7,000 years ago. The one you're looking at now is very much like those depicted in the Egyptian tombs. And good afternoon. May I see the bite, please? Thank you. All right, we're going to go. Down to that little marker and back to me, please. F 
Farrowham. Thank you. All the way around, please. Cherneko de Letna. This breed is at least 2,500 years old and his origins date back to Sicily. They are hunters of small game and are independent thinkers that are excellent at agility, coursing, and even tracking. And hello again. May I see the bite, please? And the sides. Okay, let's see him right down here. We're gonna go to the marker on the ground and then back to me, please. Cherneko del Etna. Okay, thank you. All the way around, please. The Greyhound. The Greyhound almost certainly originated in Egypt where he has existed in virtually his present form since the time of Christ. This is the fastest of all dogs once used on leopard and gazelle. He is very good. gentle and accommodating and ever so Can I see elegant. The right, okay, we're gonna have her go down to the marker on the ground and back to me, please. Greyhound. Great, thank you. All the way around, please. The Whippet. The Whippet looks like a Greyhound in miniature, and indeed the two breeds may have many things in common, speed being one of them. For over a century, the Whippet was used as a rabbit courser in England. And by the way, he can hit a stride of almost 40 miles an hour. How are you? The Good. Whippet looks fragile, and can indeed he face? does mind the cold, but this Thank dog's you. power of acceleration are breathtaking. All right, let's bring her right down here, please. Go to that dot on the floor and then back to Whip the it. Thank you. All the way around, please. Borzoi. This is a sighthound, a courser of immense strength and stamina. He was developed in Russia in the 17th century. They were used on wolves essentially and are very hard-working field dogs 
And by the way, in some of the toughest hunting known. And hello again. Hello. May I see the bite, please? Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we're going to go straight across to that marker on the floor and back to me, please. Borzoi. All right, thank you all the way around, please. Scottish Deerhound. The Scottish Deerhound is the royal dog of Scotland and was an ancient hunter of deer, as his name implies. A true greyhound type dog, the Scottish Deerhound is fast and relentless on the trail. He will put himself against anything that'll run. And hello again. You see the bite, please? <laughs> Thanks. You too. I tried to look beautiful, but you know what? I'm such a guy. <laughs> oh, you cracked me up. <laughs> All right. So we're going to see her to that little marker on the ground. And back to me, please. Scottish Deerhound. Here, go all the way around, please. <laughs> Irish Wolfhound. This gentle hound, tallest of all dogs on earth, is heir to another superlative. He is the oldest of all known wolf hunters. In Ireland, when wolves preyed upon sheep and cattle, this was their protector. And how are you? In 1862, Good. a Let's British like Army this. officer bred a few rare specimens. Thanks. And this gentle giant was brought back from the very brink of extinction. All right. So we're going to go to the marker on the ground and back to me, please. Irish Wolfhound. All right, thank you. All the way around, please. The American Foxhound. The American Foxhound was bred to hunt fox, nothing else, and his name has stuck. The first fox foxhounds were imported into this country in 1742 and George and Washington you? bought Good. even more over in 1770. Bite, this breed has a distinctive howl that is great for hunting, but not if you live next door to them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. So we're gonna see her down to that marker and back to me, please. American Foxhound. Let's see her all the way around, please. Thank you. <laughs> the English Foxhound. The original English version of the Foxhound is a little stockier than the American, as you can see. 
There are not many English foxhounds in America, by the way, but they have been painted and How photographed so often good, doing good. that they're one of the most readily the recognized white, of all the dog breeds. Thank you. All right, we're going to see her down and back, please. English Foxhound. <laughs> all right, let's see her all the way around, please. The Beagle comes in two varieties, those under 13 inches and those over 13, but not more than 15. Otherwise, the standards are exactly the same. The Beagle is one of the most popular hounds in America, and although an outstanding set of hounds he's also a <laughs> first-rate companion, a real sweetheart of a dog. Great, let's see him right down here, please. Just down to the marker and back to me. Great, thank you. All the way around, please. And this is the 13-inch version. Good afternoon. How are you? Good. Can I see the bite? Thank you. All right, let's bring her right down here, please. Down and back, please. Thank you. Let's see her in a circle around, please. Rhodesian Ridgeback. Rhodesian Ridgeback is named for his place of origin, indeed, and for the cowlick of hair, a reverse streak that runs along his spine. Folks, you're looking at the Navy Seals of the Dog Congratulations. Oh, thank Athletic, you. Strong, May I see the bite, please? Intelligent. Thank you. And it's true they were used to hunt lions. All right. We're going to go to that marker and back to me, please. Rhodesian Ridgeback. Thank you. All the way around, please.
Norwegian elk hound. For thousands of years, the Norwegian elk hound was the companion of Vikings on land and sea. In those days, the elk hound was used to hunt elk and other game as well. It was not until after World War I that this breed was known in Philadelphia How are you? Good. Good. May I see the bike, please? Thank you. All right, so we're gonna go straight across and back to me, please. <laughs> Norwegian elk hound. <laughs> All right, thank you. All the way around, please. Senji. This little hound is known as the Barkless Dog. The breed originated in Africa, and we know that he was a hunting dog in Egypt and the Congo. He was unknown in England until and 1937, good afternoon. Good afternoon. and four years Thank after you. that, he came to the United States. He is fastidiously clean, and he washes himself rather like a cat does. All right, let's bring him right down here, please. Down back, Asenji. All right, great. Let's see him all the way around, please. Portuguese Potango Picanho. Used to hunt rabbits in their native Portugal, this little sighthound will stand on their hind legs That's in search of prey. That. That's what happens They're when you have a, a rare friendly, breed, right? Can I see the bite, please? They will chase anything Thank that you. moves, including your neighbor's cat. All right, let's bring him right down here, please. So we're going to go to that marker on the ground and back to me. Portuguese, Potango Picanho. All right, great. Thank you. All the way around, please. Black and tan coonhound. As his name implies, the black and tan is a raccoon hunting hound. He is a very popular dog in the American South and is becoming known to the rest of the country as a friendly, and friendly dog. Thank you. Thank you. So we're going to go straight across and back to me, please. Black and tan, Kuna. <laughs> All 
right, let's see her all the way around, please. Blue Tick Coon Hound. The Blue Tick Coon Hound is athletic, compact, speedy, and well-muscled, as you can see. Its distinctive bugle voice alerts his master that the game he has successfully tracked. Can I see the bite, please? Thank you. All right, so we're gonna see her down the back, please. Blue Tick Kunha. Great, thank you. All the way around, please. <laughs> Redbone Coonhound. The Redbone is a courageous hunter, often used to track bear and even mounted lion. The breed dates back before the Civil Good War afternoon. and is one of the most versatile of all the hounds. I see the bite. This is a tough guy, folks, in the field. All right, thank you. We're going to see her straight across and back to me, please. Redbone Coonhound. <coughs> All right, thank you. All the way around, please. The Treen Walker Coon Hound. The Treen Walker is a trailing hound with a distinct call to hunt raccoons. His swift, nimble, endurance body good gives him an advantage. Good, over how are you? That. Can I see the bite, please? Thank you. See him straight across the back to me, please. Tree Walker, good <laughs> now. Great, thank you. All the way around, please. The Bloodhound. The Bloodhound is an ancient breed tracking back 2,500 years at least. Folks, he's not used for hunting, but for finding people. Most runs with Bloodhounds are mercy runs, seeking lost children, hikers, Congratulations. Campers, and other confused or frightened people. Can I see the bite, please? Thank you.
All right, great. We're going to see him straight across and back to me, please. Bloodhound. All right, thank you. All the way around, please. The Otter Hound. The Otter Hound is undoubtedly an ancient breed. Of all the hounds, this is the only true water dog. His coat is hard and crisp. Well, congratulations. And, and he has wet feet. By the way, folks, this is one of the rarest the of all the breeds, please? and there are fewer than 700 of them in the entire world. straight across and back to me, please. This is the Otter Hound. Thank you. All the way around, please. <laughs> the Petit Basic Rafon Bendion. The PBGV is a hound with a terrier coat and to a large extent a terrier's demeanor. He's somewhat no, new here, but has been shown in Canada for several years. Can I see the bite, please? By the way, he's one Thanks. of 28 hound breeds developed by the French. All right, bring him right down here, please. The Petit Classic Griffon Vendillon. Thank you all the way around, please. And here he is, the Basset Hound. His origin was in Belgium or France, where Basset simply means low to the ground. The bell and congratulations. and the wonderful personality of this breed makes him sought place. after for a family dog. Thank you. All right, let's bring her right down here, please. Straight down and back, please. All right, let's see her all the way around, please, Sam. The 
Dachshund. Dachshund in German means badger dog, and the breed did evolve in Germany for that use. The Dachshund is now bred in three coats and two sizes. The coats are smooth, wire, and long hair. The Thank sizes you, are standard and mini. Can I see the white, please? The sizes Thanks. are not distinguished in the ring, but the coat styles are. Other than coat and size, folks, the standards are exactly the same. All right, we're going to see her right down here, please. Smooth dachshund. Straight down and back, please. <coughs> All right, let's see her all the way around, please. And this is the long-haired version. And congratulations. Can you see the white, please? All right, let's see her right down here, please. And down her back. All the way around, please. Thank you. <laughs> and good afternoon. Can I see the white, please? Thank you. All right, let's see it right down here, please. And down and back, please. Here, all the way around, please. All right, and I'm going to make a cut, and let me say that this is a beautiful group of dogs. So thank you so much for allowing me the opportunity to judge you. Okay.
I'm gonna have the feral hound right here. And the greyhound, please. And the whippet, please. The deer hound, please. The deer hound. Ma'am. Sir. Sir. Oh, yeah. All right, what I'd like for you to do is go one at a time around. When you get to the end of the line, just let your dog stand on their own, okay? Then we're gonna end up right back where we are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, tonight's hound group winner is the Treeing Walker Coon Hound. Yeah, Second yeah. place is the Pharaoh Hound. Treeing Walker Coon Hound, ladies and gentlemen. Third place is the Greyhound. And fourth place the is the Dawson. Thank you.